there's nothing like exploring new grounds here in North Bondi to um, have a bit of a de-stress and I thought that this would be a great place to chat to you about neck pain and stress so if you've had a bit of a sore neck and it's not going away and you've had a bit on your plate today I just want to point out the five characteristics that will indicate to you that it's probably all stress number one the pain is quite ill-defined in other words the person's not generally going to be able to pinpoint it it will be in the lower part of the neck um, it will generally be on both sides as opposed to one side it won't change a lot um, and it may be associated with either a, a tight or a clenched jaw or even headaches number two the pain is often described as a dull ache um, a bit of a toothache doesn't vary a lot in intensity doesn't seem to change a lot number three the pain is gets better when you're busy so the person might wake up in the morning with a bit of a sore neck they get ready they go to work when they're at work the pain goes away because they're able to think about other things and then when they start driving home or they've got more time to themselves the pain comes back so that's a pretty good indicator that uh, stress is involved often we the the software is running in the background and, and we don't even know it's going on so uh, that's why it tends to get better um, when you're at work bit of a red flag here any headache that wakes you up should really be looked at by your GP so please if you have a headache that wakes you up at any time then um, certainly lots of things can cause that so go and see your doctor number four the pain doesn't usually respond to painkillers like Panadol and Nurofen and often you find that people start to escalate and take Valium muscle relaxants stronger painkillers and opiates and only then do they actually start to respond so uh, generally you find that your over-the-counter painkillers just don't, don't do a lot for it. Number five, and here's a bit of a public awareness thing, a glass of wine or a, or a beer might actually help you relax and get rid of your neck pain. So, you know, managing your pain with alcohol is not a good long-term strategy. Just be super careful to regulate your, your alcohol intake. But again, that's a pretty good indicator that you should start managing the stress and not the neck pain.